Hi, my name's Shane Smart, and I'm looking for professionals in the visual thinking and design community in the Netherlands to volunteer your time for human rights. Join me here on the 7th of November 2015 at Spaces here in Kruk, where we're holding a workshop to visualize the Geneva Convention in pictures. You know the power of images to clearly overcome language and education barriers. This is your chance to put your knowledge and skills into practice and start changing the way every citizen understands their rights. I want to tell you a story that inspired this project. This is me and this is my wife. These are my two daughters. Last summer we were wondering, where do we want to go on holiday? Do we want to go somewhere warm, somewhere sunny? I'm from Australia, so we decided to go to Australia. We booked our airfare from Amsterdam to Sydney, and the airline we chose was Malaysian Airlines. While on our holiday in Australia, we learned of a tragic event. The exact same flight that we took to Australia just a week before was shot down over the Ukraine by a war missile. As I thought about this, it occurred to me, someone fired that missile. A soldier fired that missile. That soldier must have thought it was a military plane when actually it was a civilian plane. How could such a mistake have been made so easily? It's crazy, there's an app for that, Skyscanner. Anybody can download it, anybody can use it. But if this guy doesn't know about the app, then what else doesn't he know? Does he have religious morals? Is he literate? If he can't read, he doesn't know about law. And if he doesn't know about law, he certainly doesn't know about international law on human rights. So I started thinking about that. Is there a body of law that might be applicable? What about the Geneva Conventions? So I looked it up. The Geneva Conventions are a set of conventions that cover soldiers and armed forces at sea who are wounded, and it covers prisoners of war and civilians in times of war. But the Geneva Conventions are more than 300 articles of text. It's almost impenetrable. If you're illiterate or it's not written in your language, you're not going to understand them. If it's not written in your language, you're not going to be able to understand this text. And the conventions are promises made by over 190 governments around the world on behalf of citizens like you and me. So what if we took the Geneva Conventions and turned them into pictures? Would it be clear that a single article showing this was wrong? Would it be clear that this was wrong? Would it be clear that any of these kind of actions were wrong? I think it would. There's one article in particular that stands out in each of the four conventions, Article 47. Article 47 states that countries signing the Geneva Convention are required to disseminate the text of the convention as widely as possible within their populations and specifically to include it in military and, if possible, civilian instruction. Simply put, they're required to educate soldiers, medical staff, religious leaders and civilians with the Geneva Conventions. So what would be some great uses of the Geneva Conventions in pictures? One of them would be on the news. When people watched or read news, they would know instantly by looking at the picture which article of the Geneva Conventions had been broken and who would be held accountable. Protests. When we protest, we're not just protesting about what we believe, we can protest with the law behind us, clearly showing which parts of the Geneva Conventions are being broken. Schools. These will be easily disseminated in schools around the world. The earlier we can teach it to our children, the better, because some of the children of today will be soldiers of tomorrow. On a bigger scale, when populations are in conflict or at war, by knowing and understanding the Geneva Conventions and their rights, citizens can stand up, seek refuge, and hold the people in authority accountable to the promises they made on our behalf removing plausible deniability in places like a courtroom. If you're presented with this picture that a three-year-old understands, can you really say you don't understand the Geneva Conventions, regardless of what level of government you're in or what role you played in the military? So let's take the text of the Geneva Conventions and visualize it as pictures. I hope you'll join us. We need your mind and your talent. To sign up, follow the link below.